Hey, what's happening guys? I'm sure you remember this video from about a week ago where we created a super simple basic Arduino ohm meter. Now that's a 1K resistor that actually measures uh, 974, which is also the same as our known resistor. This is our unknown, this is our known. We're just using Ohm's law and the voltage divider equation to do the calculations because the Arduino, of course, can only read voltage. So, like I said, there's a 1K resistor. Pull that guy out of there. Here is a 4K7. Let's see how it does. Yeah, reads it pretty well. Problem is, when you get too far away from the range of your known resistor, it doesn't quite know what to do with it because of the code. And I'm not a coder. So I put out the call for you guys to give me a little help. And a couple of you guys have uh, written back to me. The first one I heard back from is Luke. So let's go take a look at Luke's code. All right, so we're looking at the original code here. Yeah, you know, we just have our setups for the OLED basically along with our libraries. Then down here we set some values for our uh, variables. Well, I couldn't think of the word variable there for a second. Then we have our setup where we just basically begin using the display. Now down here we do a read of that analog pin where the voltage divider is. If there is a value there we're going to take that and use the voltage divider equation along with Ohm's law to find the value of our unknown resistor. We can do that because the Arduino can read voltage. So if we have voltage and we have current, well then we know the, the, the uh, resistance. So by using a known resistor and a known voltage, we can find the current. We can then take the current with the known voltage across the unknown resistor and that will give us our resistance. So this just prints it out. And it worked. It was okay. We want to make it better. So I put the challenge out to you guys and uh, a couple of you have gotten back to me. The first one I've heard back from is a Luke Barber and this is Luke's code. So you can see here he's changed the setup a little bit. He's added some screen width, screen height. Interesting. Never seen the library set up like that before. Okay. Then we have the variables. We still have our analog pin, our raw, our V in, our V out. Our R1, that's our known resistor. So in my case, I need to change that back to 974, which is the resistor we're using. This is our unknown resistor. And we have our initial buffer value. And he has created another integer variable called TM for time. The time it takes to display the final result. Now in our setup, we are doing a little intro thing here. Text color white. Text size 3. Put the position here. Basic ohm meter. Very nice. Now down here in our loop, we're going to clear the screen. Wait a second, then we're going to do our read right here. And then here's our new if there's a value there. And boy, he's really done some work to this. We have some more. Uh, well, oh, we're doing our calculations first. And then we're going to do some screen setup with our V in, V out, resistance R2. It's going to wait three seconds there and then it is going to start displaying stuff and here's where we have our logic and it says if R2 our unknown resistor is less than 4 or greater than 4 and less than 16 it's 100 ohms if it is between 75 and 125 it's a thousand ohms if it's between 200 and 240 
it's 2200 ohms and so on and so on and then if it is greater than 12,500 it's going to print out of range all right so here Get these lined up correctly. Is my simple code and his not so simple code begins here. This is what happens when somebody who can actually program writes the code as opposed to somebody who programs by brute force. And by that I mean I just keep changing things until they work. That's my programming style. <laughs> All right, let's upload this and uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, yeah, according to Luke's email, he's programmed this to read resistors of 10, 100, 220, 330 ohms, 1K, 2K, 5K, and 10K. Now, as this is just a demonstration, it won't read all the other values, but let's give it a try. So we have a 1K resistor in there. Plug it in. Yep, 1K resistor reads 1K. Now, let me find another one. Give me a second. Here is some 220 ohm resistors. That's one of his values. So I'll bend the lead. We'll stick that guy in there. And we'll see what happens. Perfect. Let's find another one. Here are some 10K. Now, I've got my man in Florida, B-Blood, working on something as well, so we'll have to uh, wait on that. Now, as you can see here, because there's nothing there, it says out of range. So let's put in our 10K resistor. Right on. Excellent. I love it. Thank you, Luke. That is very cool. And that's exactly what I'm looking for here, is for you guys to give me your input and kind of help out. So I appreciate it very much. By the end of this, by putting all of our smart collective brains together, I think that we just might uh, have something good here. After all, one uh, multiple brains are better than one brains, which is... Uh, my brain doesn't even equal to one brain, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Luke for helping out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.